Well, if it's Black Forest, it's standard to play and explore, so we're going to be... Okay, everybody wants Magyars. We're doing Magyars. Don't worry, Mr. John, we'll be doing Arabiars on later. Player 8, please redo your team. We'll do Slavs next, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God, I'm playing the Magyars. All right, I'm going to review this really quickly. Enlighten me. Oh snap, so they get like a full archery range. Infantry are also basically flawless. They get like a full stable, are you serious? Navy is strong. You back to Age of Empires. They get the, the Magyar Hussars, right? And they get the cavalry archers, ooh my. Oh, their siege is, is not great. Yeah, no, the siege is kind of weak. That's about it, right? Um... Fort Archers plus two line of sight, that's actually really good. Oh, are you serious? Scout cavalry and everything costs less? Oh shit, that seems so good. Alright, good to know. Check the blacksmith. Nah, oh, it's still so good. They're only missing uh, one of the infantry upgrades. Alright, we have one more player slot. Oh, it looks like someone already filled it, so... Never mind. <laughs> All right. So for those of you just tuning in, this is going to be a four v four Black Forest on the new expansion pack for Age of Empires Two HD Edition. In this particular match, uh, Twitch chat has voted that I play as the Magyars, which I have never played before. <laughs> So of course, pardon me as I am learning this new game. It is uh, everything is all new and foreign to me. But thankfully, we're playing on a map that I actually know, so I mostly get to fiddle around with the Magyars. At least from reading about them, they sound absurd. It, it seems to me as though they're a jack of all trades and a master of all trades. <laughs> they have like a full archery range, like missing hand cannoneers. Uh, they got like a like a full stable, you know, without the camels. Uh, they have like really good infantry too. <laughs> And they get the free, uh, the free melee upgrades, uh, unique, you know, everything, everything about them looks good, their navy looks good. The only thing that's weak is, like, the siege. They look good. They're like the Abercrombie and Fitch model of civilizations, at least that's what it looks like. <laughs> You're like, eh, hey, you know what, I, I'd go gay for Magyars, I, I, you know, maybe. <laughs> I haven't played them yet, so, uh, perhaps I'm wrong, but at least on paper, they sound, they sound pretty good. They sound pretty good, they sound pretty good. Don't worry, I'll ruin all team with you next game. We'll make that happen. Alright, we'll actually we'll actually do it. So yeah. Um I give a lot of credit to the uh, Forgotten Empires developers though, because I do honestly believe that there's no way the Magyars play as well as they sound. <laughs> I really do, I really do believe that. Um you know, uh, from my impressions on the Forgotten Empires thing so far is I think this expansion pack is worth every penny. It's 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 modestly priced, you know. Ten bucks is fine. It could have been cheaper, sure, but the amount of content is pretty pretty good. There's five new civilizations, lots of campaigns and whatnot, and and they did a really good job porting it over. And honestly, anything to support the developers and support my favorite game. So yeah, I'm I'm very very satisfied so far. My only complaint. Besides a couple of random minor bugs that I'm sure they'll, they'll fix eventually. <laughs> is uh, they reset the hotkeys uh, to something completely different, and there's no way to set them back to what they once were. Which is infuriating for someone like me, who plays this game mostly off muscle memory, because I kinda grew up with this game. By kinda, I mean I totally did. <laughs> uh, so, when they reset all the hotkeys, like... It's bad. So that's a, that's a complaint there, but besides that, yeah, I, I recommend this... Definitely recommend the expansion pack. Plus, we don't want to fragment the community anymore, right, guys? So, y'all gotta get that expansion pack. Y'all gotta be cool. Get the new expansion pack. Be awesome. That's what all the cool kids are doing. And plus, you know, it really does keep the game fresh. I'm very, very, I guess, interested in uh, seeing how all this stuff this plays out. I really do believe that the Forgotten Empires developers it's really, really nice that they also happen to be, like, die-hard Age of Empires players, too. And they really do, like, I agree with really most of the changes, I'd say, like, 95% of them. Good ideas. Very, very good ideas. Very healthy for the game. 
So, uh, my personal opinion is I recommend you buy it. Sure, AV2 HD has been a little bit of a mess in itself with the, uh, s you know, s suspicious performance. It's been a little sketchy and inconsistent. Um, but it's getting better. And worth every penny. <laughs> it is definitely not the game it was in its release day. And I'm just impressed, at least, that the developers can... Like, that they've done so much with a game that has such a archaic old game engine. Like, they've done they've done good work. But yeah, 10 is a, a little pricey. I wouldn't have done... Uh, if I was their marketing guy, I would have been like... Mm. Okay. I can understand it being $10 if Age of Empires 2 HD was not 20 in itself. <laughs> Mostly because the game itself is not a new game, so I feel like pricing it like... I don't know. Maybe it should have been like 15 and then... I don't know. Either way, it, it might be a little expensive, but I, th I think it's worth it. I think games overall nowadays are just too expensive, but that's a different, that's a different fish we can fry later. Yeah, five would have really been perfect. I agree, I agree. Uh, but I'm just more happy to support the developers, I guess. So I'm willing to let it slide. Because, yeah, I, I love this game like a child, and what would make me happy is to see it ex uh, succeed. I want this game to be the next big eSport. I really, really do. And I think that if the develop Like, if Microsoft could understand that this game is, like... Well, I mean, they, they're, they understand it's a gold mine now, but... If they could invest more manpower into it, I really do believe that this game can go, go really, really far. I'm, I'm just glad that they finally back to supporting this game. They're seeing the dollar signs. That's a good thing. That's a very, very good thing. I suppose I should probably talk about what on earth I'm actually doing. Uh, but what I'm actually doing is I'm prepping for my fast castle age Mumbo Jumbo. Which I'll be doing momentarily. Like right now. I'm in advance with the standard 27 population. And it is important that during all this opening mumbo jumbo that you do, that you do not have your town center idle. It should always be creating a villager or researching a technology. That is crucial, crucial, crucial to your success. So you will do that. Notice how the vast majority of. My okay, so there's no point in investing in minerals, honestly, like, at least heavily. Early on in the game, there really isn't, and that's a, mis a common mistake that newer players will make, is they will, I guess, like, make a stone mine or something really early. You don't need it. You don't need it, okay? You don't need it. <laughs> you gotta be like Spongebob, you know, where he's like, I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. You gotta tell yourself that. You don't need it. You should be focusing on uh, mostly food early on. What you want to do is you want to get... Oh my god, are you serious? There's like always a wolf attacking me when I'm trying to hunt a boar, but um, I'm going to be focusing, focusing mostly on what's attacking me. Alright, cool. Anyway, yeah, you want to focus on uh, food mostly in the Dark Age. Almost all of your villagers should be on food, and then like some on wood, and maybe like two or so on gold or stone. That is for you to decide. But yeah, most of it should be on food, and you should be able to keep up with my advancement times. Especially considering that I'm playing online, so there's a bit of a delay, and we're playing on fast speed, so... It's a little no. sloppy, but yeah, you should be able to keep up with my advancement times if your town center is always working, and you should be able to do that uh, easily with the help of our little friends, Mr. Hotkeys. And Mr. Hotkeys tells you, if you're playing on the standard ones, and if you press the H key and you press the C key, you will uh, select your town center and then create a villager, and then you win. You just kind of win. <laughs> You can just you can stop playing there, you just win, your town center is never going to be idle, you're going to have the best economy ever, and uh, your opponents will just tremble in fear, and they'll probably resign, honestly. And then you just win. It's that easy. That's my tutorial, guys. That's my tutorial on how to win, is you uh, keep your town center working. And then when you hit the feudal age, when you... So, you know, you're going to build a different amount of villagers depending on what your strategy is, but the idea is that if... The strong to get the strongest economy possible, I'm gonna want to stay in the Dark Age as long as I can without being too greedy about it. So, you know, if I'm trying to go for a fast castle age, I'm gonna want a stronger economy all this time that I'm spending advancing. I'm not making any new villagers, so 
the more villagers that I have, the more cost effective it is uh, as I'm advancing, basically. I'll have a stronger eco, which is important. So I'm going to want to advance to 27, then when you hit the feudal age, you put down a market and a blacksmith immediately, and then you advance to the castle age as soon as your stockpile resources hit the desired amount. Of course. When you hit the castle age, you're going to start plopping out as many town centers as possible. This is important. Because uh, what I'm doing is what's known as a boom, an economic boom strategy. And what this means is that I'm going to minimally invest in my military until the imperial age, while I'm heavily, heavily focusing on my economy. It's very high risk, very high reward. The idea is that, you know, I'm going to build up like a madman, and then by the time I start pumping up my military, if I can successfully stall them or defend, uh, then I can outproduce the ever loving crap out of them and just mop the floor with them. <laughs> so that's the idea, that's the idea. It's uh, focus on your ego first, military later. Blacksmith, uh, sorry, Black Forest, great map for this. Why? Super easy to defend. A potato could defend this map, man. So that's why we do that. Of course, if you're on the flank uh, position, which means you're towards the edge of the map, edge of your team. You might want to consider something else. Perhaps you might want to fast castle age. That is for you to decide. Just fast castle age and then make a military then, but generally you're not going to be rushing anybody super early. You don't want to do too much feudal age combat on Black Forest unless uh, unless you're super confident that it's going to work out alright. This is probably won't. This map is so easy to defend. Oh, I got no stone, so I can't stone all that, so I'll just... I'll say that. Gotta say, the new architecture? Smashing. Yo, it's an enemy militia? What is this? I'm not getting any of that. Not on my watch, bud. Why is there an enemy militia at like 19 minutes in from the uh, orange guy? Why are you walking all the way over there? Just drop it off at that town center. Crazy villagers. That's what makes this game so fun, is because not only are you like fighting your opponents and you're fighting those stupid wild animals, but you're also fighting your own villagers as they actively try to creatively kill themselves in any way possible and get themselves stuck between like houses and crap. It's great. <laughs> Other games are too easy. Am I actually getting drushed? Is that a thing? Oh no. I'll just kill that scout if he's not watching. We need a few seconds. Be merciful. Okay. That's cool too. I am uh, a okay with that one. Let's, uh, let's go wheelbarrow. Get a castle, I want to see some Nagar Hussars. Of course, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that ASAP. I'm going to make it happen. It's going to be a thing. Why is my eco so good right now? Am I just, like, playing better, or do you mag yourself some sort of eco bonus? I guess I don't. Huh. Weird. Maybe it's because, like, maggers seem so overpowered in my head that I'm just, like, subconsciously applying that to my gameplay. I'm, I'm playing as if they were broken. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 seriously, like, this orange guy is a viper smurf. Um, you guys just wait, alright? You just wait. He's gonna get you. You can laugh as he's burning down everything you know, okay? So, like, just saying, just saying. It's the quiet ones that you should be afraid of. It's never it's never the guy who's acting tough and he's in your face, no. Just like how, this, like, the big dogs are really, really friendly and the small dogs tend to be, like, mean. It's like that, man. It's gonna get you. I'm gonna get housed? You're damn right I'm gonna get housed. <laughs> that actually happened. I thought my town center would finish in time, but, um, it didn't happen. <laughs> I'm too busy just fantasizing about just being a magger or just running down and just killing everything. And Daydreaming about that right now. I can't even think about houses, guys. Must be nice being a mag here. Get another house down. What in the blazes? 
Uh, town center over there? Oh no, I'm gonna get housed again. Ah, I can do this. I can do this. I can get a monastery. Oh, I got no wood. Why? Why? Yo, everybody on my team should like permanently just destroy themselves by distributing me all their wood and just like basically just stop playing. Like that, that, that won't hurt your eco at all, I promise. You don't need it. I need a monastery, though. Think about it. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Nope. Okay. Put a house over here. Get this thing over here. And get that relic. Oh, man. Alright. The new architecture? 10 out of 10. I'd pay 10 bucks for this. I have to say, I am a little disappointed in some of the unit graphics. Like, some of them are... I don't know, the animations aren't quite smooth and whatnot, but god, did they do a good job with the uh, with the architecture. I am going to be playing this expansion pack religiously, just so I can stare at the architecture. If I ever get housed or anything, it's because I'm staring at how nice the buildings, like, I'm just staring at them. I'm lost in their beautiful, beautiful eyes. They are really good. Man. All right, yeah, that's the t that's where your ten dollars went. All right, for those of you who think the expansion pack is too expensive, nah, the buildings, it's the buildings. You guys don't know. That's that's where that's where it went. That's where the budget is, guys. It's the buildings. Well, of course, the rest of the game is awesome too. But the buildings, idle. Oh shit, you're right. Thanks. I honestly forgot. Oh my, this castle. Mmm. Yeah, it's one of the biggest masses of idols I've seen since, like, uh... I don't know. I don't know, it's been a while. You got a relic on this side? I'm just gonna jack that one quietly and stealthily when my teammates aren't looking. Alright, let's get that castle out so you guys can see the new unique unit. Seems kind of OP. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but okay, my hope is is that the Magnus are OP when I play them, but they just suck when everyone else does. Uh, unless you're on my team, <laughs> then I hope they're good. <laughs> Basically, I hope I win. That's what we're going with. Oh no 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 no! Don't, don't get caught up in those farms, please. Um. I would ask what units I should be building, except they all seem really good. But I will just double check. Mm, they all seem so good. I guess like archer support with some of my heavy cavalry seems like a good idea. I get all those melee blacksmith upgrades for free though, like, that's ridiculous. Bada bing! Just trying to think of a balanced sort of army comp, but uh, screw balanced, man. We're just standing around, man. Got a got a farm. Got to farm it up. The cool kids are farming. Uh, get the town patrol. Might be game changing. I doubt it, but I can believe. Ah, oh, he finally made it. This is mine now. Oh, Jokesta, Jokesta, I might need help. I will, uh, ooh. Sounds like an investment to me. So I get all the light cavalry too, right? It's insane. And they cost less. Ooh, crop rotation. Afford you. Oh my god, I have so much money. Money everywhere. Money oozing from every orifice. Nah, it's gross, never mind. Alright, screw it, I'm never gonna remember to hunt the boar anymore. 
He has the lumberjacks now. Officially. I now pronounce you lumberjacks. Uh, there's like no room for castles. Man, if only I could create this Magyar Huzzars at the, uh, everywhere else, actually. Oh, whoa, I get cavalry. Oh, alright, my cav. This is the guys with the ridiculous cavalry archers, too. Yeah, I'm coming, man! The guys are slowly on the way. Slowly. Baby steps, right? They got full upgrades, so it's cool. Oh, look at that pike. They got the same pike from the, uh, what's the name? Kamiuk, right? It's yeah. Okay, so I guess cavalry archers. Wait, these guys are like the Huns on steroids. They're the Huns have the stupid housing bonus, but they're the Huns with. Okay, the Huns' one weakness, I guess, on maps like Black Forest is their late game is inconsistent, since they have access to uh, only good mounted units and not that many good units overall. So they actually do run into some trouble uh, in the late game against some civilizations, especially the. Saracens come to mind as kind of kicking their butts. But uh, these guys seem like the Huns with like a less OP early game and an insanely well balanced late game. I don't know, just theory crafting though. Haven't played enough. I know for sure, but they seem good. They seem really, really good. Yeah, their unique attack is really, really weird. The one where their Hussars cost 10 less. Because. 10 gold was too expensive. We couldn't afford that before, but I guess it does pay off. I guess, yeah, if I uh, can research that before I build any of them, it would, uh, would matter a lot. Uh, how is this fighting going on over here? Oh, elephant archers, oh snap! Yeah, see, like, some of the units animate really choppily, but I have to say, this architecture... Mm, and I can only imagine how hard it was, of course, to design the graphic assets, so... Sarcasm aside, the game does look awesome. I'm gonna need... you're gonna need more dudes! You're gonna need a lot more dudes! I will have to send more, and then uh, fortify the back of your base. Oh, that's gonna block the trade line though at some point, I can't do that. Can't build those there. Where's that villager that's supposed to build that? It's you. Put them in the back of his base up there. I'm just... Dude. Dude. Looks like Shade is also sending dudes. Is he playing the same Civ? Oh, he is. Okay, so apparently I'm doing something right, if Shade's doing it too, right? So I'm gonna say. Delete that market now, finally. Oh my goodness. Okay, so apparently I'm doing it right. <laughs> Game is fun. Should get some of those Magyar Hussars, though, right? So these are like... Oh, oh, okay, good. So they have a strong anti-siege unit. So what do these guys not do? That's what I want to know. Is that like melee mangadai? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, except they cost only 80 food. Beans. Uh, is he using the ridiculous cleaving infantry? Is that what's going on? Is this labs? Oh, ew. Talk about you, just no. Not having any of that. What's going on up here? Oh, Britons versus Saracens? Oh, so, you know, the normal civs. <laughs> no one cares about the normal civs. I need more, I need more, uh, more eco. Hmm. There's like no room to put farms down. Maybe yeah, I can fit more over here. <laughs> Gotta move all these lumber camps, though. Um. Oh my 
my goodness, those cleaving guys. I don't know how to feel about the the Indians, but I can tell you that those stupid cleaving things. Oh wow. Nice job, unit passing. You have betrayed me. Am I gonna have to delete you? Is that the thing? I don't wanna I don't wanna screw up my trade cards. What the hell? Oh my god, what is this? Dude, you're gonna have to move that shade. It's like these guys are dumb. What's up with the unit pathing? I hear they like broke it, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, balls. Alright. Let's get that eco rolling. Let's get a little stronger. Alright, there's a standing fee, buddy. Okay. So. The slabs, though, that cleave, holy shit, I don't get the, uh, I don't get hand cannon ears, what are we gonna do about those? And why are these guys constantly getting bunched there? Absurd. Absolutely absurd. Oh my god, screw you. What is this? Why? Why unit pathing? Go that way. You keep bunching up in the trade cards. Interesting. Okay, well, <laughs> game looking hard. Three of us can't hold them off. We, oh my goodness. Those cleaving infantry. Hey, get an onager to onager those trees? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. What's Shade doing? Shade, buddy, we need ya. Shade, wherever your focus is. We need more, we need more of them over here. Yeah, this Jokesta guy, he's gonna need to back up his eco a lot. He might need to, like, back out of the base entirely. I don't know, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try and rescue him from the clutches of evil people. Uh, let's see. Okay, I can build houses up here. Where's my university? Because I don't know what it looks like. Do I not have one? I'm gonna assume I don't have one. Architecture, though, that's that's nice. More, more guys, please. Hmm. I'm gonna assume I don't have a university. Yeah, I'll, I'll honor down those trees if that becomes a huge issue. But I think the villagers should probably be able to take care of them in the meantime. Or they'll my guys would just correct the pathing issues. Hopefully. Okay, well, it looks like I am managing to outproduce him just a little bit, which is good. Baby steps. Slow and steady wins the race. And these, uh, these elite Magyar Hussars seem to be pretty good. Seem to be pretty good. Oh, snap. Shade's coming in with the Paladins. I like this. Yeah, Cav Archer Tech is plus one range. You are correct. Ding, ding, ding. Alright, so I just built like three castles, so. Okay, yeah, it looks like the pathing issue is mostly sorted itself out. Which, uh, which is good. It's good. Doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom. These houses are totally in the way, though. That's gonna cause a pathing issue if I've ever seen one. Oh my goodness! All right, so we got this. We got this on lockdown. Actually, we don't even need those paladins technically for him. But uh, you know, any assistance is appreciated, of course. I think if my economy is strong enough, I can start tagging on new stables too. Three auto farmers, interesting. It's the word of the day. Okay, so that's what my university looks like. Badass. So I'm gonna say about basically everything. Also, do my castles cost nothing? Like, why do I have so much stone? Can't explain it. But yeah, pardon me if I don't know what my uh, my buildings look like anymore. These are all... Everything's all new and foreign to me. 
Oh, charge, dude! We think you're not getting away with this. That active aggression? I won't forget. Charge! Your siege line means nothing to my anti siege cavalry. Spears. Oh, look at this crap! Oh my god! I. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna have to Onager that, but I have like no gold. I can't research Onager. Piece of garbage. I got way too many Lumberjacks as well. Okay, let's uh, research Onager, I guess, and get to that. Because that's a thing. Wow, good job Unipathing, you're doing you're doing God's work. Not I'll put the other one like right here. How is this battle going? Oh good lord. It's like shades doing shades doing everything. Okay, Onager research, how's that going? Oh what is Alright, this this doesn't normally happen. I swear this doesn't normally happen. I'm aware. Sacrifices must be made. Wait. Oh, okay, my hotkeys are also different on that. Interesting. I'm gonna date my own guys. But that's worth it. Alright, that better be enough for you stupid idiots in your pathing, I swear. Oh my god! Alright, this has not happened before this uh, new expansion pack, actually. I do not recall this ever being a real issue. Uh, where, like, units would get stuck on each other like this? I've never seen that. I've seen it happen to this extent, but, like, never this bad. My goodness, what is going on? Alright, everyone's on drugs. I figured it out. There's some new crazy party drugs sweeping the nation, and, uh, I guess our medieval friends over here have picked it up. They're doing so much cocaine right now. So cocaine doesn't make you do this. I don't know. Oh my god. What is this pathing? Uh, are you serious? What is this? This makes no freaking sense. My guys have just gone AWOL. They've, they've gone off the deep end. Wow. I, yeah, I can't explain it. Interesting. They're just getting stuck on each other like this. This is a horrible bug. Alright, I changed my mind. There is a game-breaking bug in Forgotten Empires, because this has never been a problem before. Yes, units get stuck, but... Alright, Nathan Kirkhoff, by the way, you gotta, like, move this shit. But units are just not moving around each other properly at this point. Okay, yeah, the pathing is broken. Uh, I have just figured that out. Okay, um, how did they not fix- how did they not notice this before they ship this, actually? That's my question. Green, please. Green, please. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting too distracted by the like amazing crippling bugs that they somehow managed to ship with this. Need to get the you need to get the show on the road regardless. Yeah, that's also in the base game, by the way. That's just a new bug with the new patch. You know what they should have done? They shouldn't have touched unit pathing. They really shouldn't have. It was bad, but I understood how it worked, you know? They really shouldn't have touched it. That was a huge mistake, and that's actually a huge problem. Wow, that actually makes me, like, not want to play AoE almost. Like, it's so bad. Uh, this pathing is so bad. Interesting. Mmm, that's actually, that's pretty game breaking. It's pretty game breaking. Uh, 
Let's select all those. Select all those. Yeah, okay, so I guess Black Forest is basically unplayable at the moment. <laughs> Today I learned. Just goes to share. Mm, I understand the code is archaic, so I, I know how the bugs like these can pop up, but, you know, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Bad thing was bad, but it ain't broken. I shouldn't have touched it. Seriously stabbing that castle? Oh my goodness. Yeah, totally worth 10 bucks, okay? Because what's broken about this is is the actual ga base game itself, which could use work, but... You know, no matter how much I complain about this game, guys, worth every penny. Did they absolutely break the unit pathing? Yes. But... I'd buy it anyway. Still, what? Wait, he resigned? Oh, is he actually bones? Oh, he's not bone, but he's yeah, he's kind of in trouble. Actually, you know what? We're kind of in trouble. Oh, you want to know why? Look at this! Oh my god! Are you shitting me? Are you shitting on me? Are you what? What? You guys can see this, right? Are you serious? How did they ship? How did they let this patch through? Oh my god! Holy crap! How did they let this patch through? I just lost this game because of just the re- Wow, the reinforcements piling, piling on each other. How did they let that patch through? Somebody tell me. Wow, I am speechless. This is the worst bug this game has ever had. Holy crap! Absolutely speechless. 10 out of 10, by the way, I... <laughs> I... Did someone screen cap that? Are you really? Uh, is that, did that just happen? Someone's gotta, someone's gotta screen cap that, man. Mm, the developers better fix it. Look at this right now. Like, it's the little things that are actually game-changing. We get shit like this. And then you get, like, the biggest traffic jam in history. Traffic jams have always been a thing in AOE 2, but this is, like, comical proportions. I think this game's over, too. Yeah, I'm sure, you're, I'm sure your trade is fucked in the same way, but... Um, it's not that, like, the trade is necessarily screwed, because that I, I'm kind of used to. It's that the units are just not doing anything. They're getting stuck on each other. Ay, Dios mijo! Alright, but yeah, it's probably GG. Oh my goodness. Alright, yeah, you guys better not forget that happens. <laughs> I gotta fix that. Anyway. God, I had so many guys. Green shouldn't have resigned. Uh, we actually could win, honestly. I can't believe he resigned, actually. <laughs> oh, and Teal quit too? Oh, we got a team of quitters. Well, I mean, it's not like they can path their units, but if they could... Nah, we could've won this. Situation is not beyond our control. However, I understand their frustration because, like, they can't move any guys. I understand. I'm glad you screen capped that, because that is intense. I would like to see the screen cap of that as well. My goodness. But yeah, I don't believe that this game was over, but, I mean, we're already down a guy, so maybe it's over now. Ooh, Stats in the Elven Archer is not bad. Actually, yeah, game is over now, but anyway, yeah. GG well played! That was a pretty, pretty interesting game, gotta say. Gotta say. And everyone on the enemy team played muy, muy bueno. My teammates also played well. But the real MVP of this game, guys, was the unit pathing. That's the real MVP. So GG, guys, unit pathing. Strong. <laughs> like I said, for what it's worth, game still awesome. So, yeah. But like, stuff like this, it's not normally that bad. <laughs> Oh god. Alright, GG. To the achievements. We go. Yeah, I don't know how they could manage to actually make the unit pathing worse than it was before. Because it used to be, like, the worst unit pathing I'd ever seen in a game. However, I understood how it worked. And it was usable. It was definitely usable. So... 
yeah. But I'll let that, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that slide. I've talked about that enough. It's still incredible, though. Yeah, that KDA. Look, all right, all right, look at this, though. This is what happens when you make War Elephants ranged, by the way. That's how you do it. Alarun with the best unit KDA I think I've ever seen. Also, this is like Goths level right here. This is this is Goths. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say that Black Forest uh, until they patch it is unplayable. I'm, that's what I'm gonna say. It's unplayable until they patch. Fun regardless, though, and a lot of fun. Oh my, these economies are fat. That was still regardless an epic game, and I had a lot, a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it too. And of course, if you enjoyed watching it, don't forget to check out the rest of the stuff on my YouTube channel, as well as my Twitch TV page, my Facebook page, and my Twitter page. I live stream regularly, so if you follow me on Twitch and Facebook, you will know when I'm live streaming, so you can have lots of fun and play with or against me. For those of you who are watching this live right now, the live stream is not over yet, so don't go anywhere. Uh, but for those of you who are watching on YouTube, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. For those of you who are watching this live, I'll be back in just a minute.